our intel. Long-range scanners have picked up a nomad power source at the center of a giant structure. It's surrounded by a plasma cloud that prevents deeper scans. Are you detecting any nomads in the area? Negative. The structure appears to be abandoned, but keep your eyes open. I'm uploading the coordinates. Listen, the jump hole we use to get here is destabilizing. We have to take the Osiris through now. It will be stable enough for small ships, but not for long. You have to get the power source quickly and get out of here. Understood. All right, people. Let's do it. Trent, you take point. King and I will take flanking positions. collapse. We're directly above the structure. No visuals yet. Look at the size of that thing. What the hell was that? The scanner's picking up massive readings. It's a truck! That thing is still alive! Damn, Intel was wrong. Nomads! They're everywhere! The power cell seems to be inside a central chamber. Looks like the only way in is through the vents on the top of the structure. Wait! We've got to bring that shield down first! Trent, I'm uploading the coordinates to you. The generators are located on the perimeter. They have to go down before you can enter. Eight minutes remaining to jump hole collapse. One down, two more to go. I'm sending coordinates. King and I will draw their fire, Trent. Head for the core and get that power cell. Objective reached danger. Trent, we're running out of time. The jump hole is starting to collapse. And... Six minutes remaining to jump hole collapse. Judy, on your six. Bank hard right. I can't shake him. Trent! Thank God you're alright! We're surrounded! The more we shoot down, the more they keep coming! Trent! The jump hole is closing fast! King and I are on our way out! Go! We're pulling up at your four and eight, Trent! Let's get out of here! Containment leak! Hole buckling! Two. Osiris, this is Junie. We got the power cell and are heading home. Do you copy? Junie, your signal is breaking up. Aurelian, come in! Do you copy? Over! Damn it! Something's jamming our frequencies. Five minutes remaining to 
jet hole collapse. Damn it. I don't think we're getting out of this one. Find a place in hell. Power cells in the hold, guys. Take it directly to Dr. Quintain in the artifact lab. That was a little too close. Uh, next time, listen to your old pal King and uh, say no. As you know, Dr. Quintain and I have poured through the translations from the panels, the Proteus tome, and even the stolen data from the prison ship. It seems that Dom Kavash had a vast empire long before man ever evolved. So if these guys were so much more advanced than us, where are they now? We don't know, Mr. Trent. There's no evidence to suggest any kind of war or disease or natural disaster that may have done away with them. They just vanished, 
leaving behind the nomads. It seems nomads, or whatever they were really called, we can't pronounce the name yet. They were apparently created by the Dom Kavash to, well, look after things. We're fighting the caretakers? Well, in a manner of speaking. They are opportunistic parasites, not only of human beings, but of technology as well. Which brings us to the artifact. The Dam Kavosh had an amazingly advanced technology that was only partially based in these delicate formations. They used them for power, shields. Uh, well, this one is a, uh, well, we'll show you. Kendra? I discovered that if the computer sounded out the phonetic representation of the glyphs in a particular order... Please, Doctor, in deference to those of us who are simple politicians. Very well. Us. The artifact knows where it is in space at all times. It's a map. But of what? Well, it's just a theory, but... Spit it out, Doctor. From what we now know, with an empire as large as the Dam Kavosh, they couldn't rely on simple jump gates like we have today. They had to develop something more sophisticated. A vast array of hypergates, linking the far corners of their empire via one incredibly fast system for travel. This device is not only the map, it's the trigger. A key to reawakening the system. Are you suggesting we turn this thing on? Yes. If we can reactivate the hypergates, we'll break the hold of the nomads on their power supply and cut them down to a more manageable size, in theory. Every key is a lock, Doctor. Where do we find this one? There. Mr. Trent. Me? Yes, you. I want you and Zane to spearhead this effort. Understood? I've come this far, I may as well see it through. What's going on? Nomad, sir. A whole fleet of them. Prepare ships for intercept. Aye, sir. Damn it. They must have followed us. We have to evacuate. Everybody to their ships. Take only what you need. Trent, Juni. We have to buy some time. We're on it. Now how do we turn this Tinker toy into a weapon? Repair complete. Loaded into cargo hold. Loaded into cargo hold. Loaded into cargo hold. Loaded into cargo hold. Entering combat. 
This is Alpha Leader, Colonel Zane. Alpha and Beta have been holding ground, but we're taking steady losses. Beta Leader here. We're going in. Roger that, Alpha. Colonel Zane, this is Beta Leader. A large Nomad ship just uncloaked in our sector. Acknowledged. I bet it's the base they're launching from. All units, concentrate your fire on the Nomad battleship. This is Alpha, engaging the enemy. We lost Alpha 2! Understood. We're going in. We're engaging the battleship. I can't make out a command center. What is our primary target? Beta Wing, concentrate your fire on the engines. Alpha Wing, take out those turrets. Modifications to the artifact. It should work now. All you need to do is activate it in the right location. What's the status out there? It's unbelievable. The nomads are constantly getting reinforcements. We won't be able to hold them off much longer. This is it. Everybody to their ships. Trent, Junie, escort the freighter with Quintain and Sinclair. All set, sir. Our forces will meet in the Nebula Field on the far side of the system. Good luck. Quintain, fly directly to the rallying point in the nebula. Trent and I will provide you cover. Understood. We're on our way. We're picking up another set of signals. Yet another Nomad capital ship is approaching Omicron. All combat wings, concentrate your fire on that ship and whatever else they throw at us. It is imperative that we buy our people some time to evacuate. I'm heading to the Osiris. Colonel Zane, make sure that Quintain and Sinclair get safely to the rallying point. Yes, sir. Damn it. Trent, we have to protect the transport at all costs. Quintain, keep heading toward the Osiris. Understood. We have to get out of here. The 
Delta leader, Colonel Zane, we're here to escort you to the Osiris. Roger that. What's the situation? We took heavy losses during the evacuation. Only four transports and about two dozen fighters made it back to the Osiris. That bad? To all units, I've arrived on the Osiris and we have reached the rallying point. Everybody, fall back. Osiris. Okay, this is it. Go ahead and land, Trent. I'll meet up with you on the deck. Doc. Where is everyone? The briefing's already started. Let's go. Is everyone clear on their assignments? Uh -huh. Okay, then. Ah, Trent. Junko. Good, you've arrived. We're just now discussing our attack plan. Long-range scans have detected a Nomad jump gate in the area that will lead us to our final destination. We'll fly there through the Badlands, which should give us some cover from the Nomad attacks. We'll enter the jump gate and fly into what we think is the Nomad homeworld. Once there, we'll have to improvise. We'll break into four attack groups. Trent, you will lead Alpha Team. I'll lead Beta, and Colonel Zane will head up Gamma. A group of heavy bombers will maintain a holding pattern until we can clear them a path. Any questions? Okay, let's go. All right. See you in space. Let's get let's him. Go. Herr von Clausen, you're coming with us? Yes, I am. We must still drive the nomads from our worlds and avenge those we have lost. I'm going with you because I owe them something. I wouldn't miss it for the world. Good luck. Do us all.